my father left us when we, I was five years old. He walked out on us. My mother, you know, she was a single mom for a long time. And so we got connected to my father after 27 years. And, um, you know, I sat with my siblings and we decided to invite him. And at the time he lived in Arizona, we all lived in Cleveland. And, um, you know, we made that decision to, you know, bring him to just visit us and see, you know, and we agreed that we were not going to talk about the past. As Muslims, we, we have to learn how to let go of that. That's part of us growing, right? And so my mother had a little bit, you know, of, and, and with, you know, every right, she had a little bit of, you know, resentment, but again, she trusted us and she said, okay, you know, bring him down. And so, you know, he came down and we opened our arms to him. We never talked about, you know, him leaving us. Um, we invited him to have dinner with us. We talked about, you know, our our work and family, kids. And we spent the weekend with him, the whole entire weekend. Um, Saturday, we went to the zoo together. We spent time. Um, and so on Sunday, you know, it was time to, for him to leave. And, um, you know, he said bye to us. He hugged us. And as he was walking out to the door, he looked back and he goes, I want to be like you guys. He said, I want to I want to be a Muslim. Sorry. And so he left and he took his Shahada. And, you know, it could have went so many different ways, right? It could have went me being upset at him or me throwing things back at him. or But the fact that I was spiritually free and I was in a good place with God, that, that didn't matter to me. You know, in life, we hold on. We hold on to situations. We hold on to things that people have done to us. And it only affects us. It holds us back from growing. It holds us back from loving each other. We are all walking testimonies for Islam. And this is how we bring people to Islam. There's no other way to explain it but for my father to have taken shahada and and him walking away from us not even knowing us was the 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 best feeling in the world right after he took his shahada he left and we didn't talk to him for maybe 15 years we never heard from him again. This past October, we received the phone call that my father had passed away. My siblings and I, we, we got together and we said, okay. He took his shahada and he's a Muslim. Now keep in mind, my mother was a single child. She had no brothers, no sisters. She was an immigrant. She was here alone. I was raised alone with my siblings, that's it. And so I never knew my father's side of the family at all. So after, you know, after we found out that he had passed away, we came together and we said, we have to give him his right as a Muslim. We have to bury him Islamically because he's our father. And so we all flew to Connecticut. And, you know, when we got there, I ended up having 17 uncles and aunts. My father flew to Connecticut. He lived in Arizona. He flew to Connecticut because he wasn't feeling well, and he died where all his siblings were. And so we were united with all this family. And lo and behold, you know, a lot of the family members were pastors. <laughs> so
So half of the, the family were all pastors. So here we're sitting, we're sitting in this gathering and we're telling them we want to bury him Islamically because this is his right. And they're saying no. Nothing indicated to us that he became Muslim. And so when we're sitting there, we're just like, oh my goodness, but he took shahada, we know. And so right when we're sitting there, subhanAllah, a guy comes in in a wheelchair, he's being pushed in, and he goes, salam alaikum. And we're like, you know, me and my sister, we're like, what, wa alaikum salam. And then, so he is my nephew that lived with him, they used to go to the masjid, and he took his shahada, Allahu Akbar. And me and my brothers, we just, start, I started crying. I'm like, dude, I can't even make this up. This is like, so then they had to, they had no choice but to allow us to bury my, my father. And so we ended up burying him, alhamdulillah, Islamically. And, um, and it was truly, truly a blessing for us to have that privilege to do that.